Hey guys, in this video I will introduce my Amrita farming setup. I use part of a build called the snowman. You find the creator's link in the description. So let's continue with the skills first. In the level 300 I have maxed out stamina and strength 30 points on magic 16 dexterity 10 heart 10 courage and the rest on constitution so let's continue with the equipment I have Sekishu Odachi as my main weapon you must have increased defense from only to snow and attack bonus from stamina. And the rest is not really that important. You can have uh, effects about active skill like life drain from active skill or melee key damage. And for the secondary weapon I have Gozutenu's Axe with 10% rage duration on it and the sets also give me another 30% and for the range uh, you can have Amrita earned and item drop rate or item drop rate versus Yokai you can either temper this effect in the blacksmith or try to farm orange inheritables in the mission the mysterious one night castle near the river if you farm revenants there they will drop orange inheritables and after you max out the familiarity you can transfer it to your weapons And for the armor, you should have four pieces of the Moon Prayer set and two pieces of Onishibatas. And the important part is you should transfer attack. Amrita Iron and Luck and Moonlit Snow Damage on each pieces of your armor. As you can see, I have Moonlit Snow Damage on every one of them. Also, attack is important, luck or item drop rate. And of course, Amri turn if you are about to farm Amri with this bill. And for the accessories, you can choose one accessory alongside the Yasakani Magatama. Both should have poison accumulation and melee damage versus poisoned enemies. So in total I have 50% melee damage against poison enemies and 25% poison accumulation. And also about 1.5% and return on both these accessories. So let's continue with the guardian spirit. We have Tenjin Kujaku as our primary guardian spirit and the soul cores I use on Ryoki because of the damage taken mid attack minus 10% Tesu soul cores because of the skill active skill damage 
and also back a step damage and the Magatsu warrior also have active skill damage item drop rate so continue with the clan I choose Honda because it has damage taken halved 50% and active skill damage 4% and for the Odachi skill I have Subtle Blade as the mystic art and of course only to snow with the help of the fulgent strike which gives me a hundred percent more Ambrita when I use this the skill to kill enemies You can get the Refulgent Strike in the Shiflings the Skill Trees is up here It says increase the amount of Amrita and when defeating an enemy with certain active skills by 100% This is really important if you wanna farm Amrita and Another important thing is to remodel your Odachi based on stamina and strength. Also, you have to reinforce all of your equipment. It will increase the weight, but it also increases the defense significantly so I will explain the new magics in the mission we choose winds of ruin let's start so at the start we use a Shinsaki Extraction and Pilates Tiger Running Protection and Steel Lock Rejuvenation Carnage Talisman and Barrier then we change to axe, use rage and let's go.
guys for watching guys and I will do a few missions after this hope you enjoy this and please like and subscribe to my channel